Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? I hope that you all are doing well. I hope your 2023 has gotten off to a phenomenal start. I know for me, it really has. And I'm looking forward to the year. I can't believe that we're already here. It seems like 2022 was yesterday. I guess it was, but it seems like it just started yesterday. So the fact that we're already in 2023 is just incredible. And it's amazing how these years just seem to fly by. I was telling my wife yesterday, I can recall when my uncle and my dad and my brothers and I and our cousins, we were ringing in the new year in 1990 up in New Jersey. And I can't believe it's been 33 years ago. Like I can remember us bowling like it was yesterday, but that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to bring that up just because life doesn't wait for anybody. Everything goes by so quickly. You know, I did a net worth update video yesterday and I believe that I have focused so much on financial health over the years and we are in such a great position now. And I have decided that this year I'm going to focus more on my physical health. You know, it is what it is with your financial health. You you understand like every month you're going to put a certain amount of money away. You understand you need to do a budget, blah, blah, blah. We know those things. I know now that I must focus on my physical health and my well-being. And I know the thing that has worked for me over the years has been keto. You know, I am a sugar addict. I can go ahead and confess and say I'm a food addict. Like, I think about food quite often. Anybody that knows me knows that's true. In particular, anybody that knows me knows I'm addicted to sugar. I will eat sugar all day, every day if I could. And I wouldn't necessarily even need to have any protein. It's the sugars and the fats to me. If I could have all sugar and all fat all day, I'm a happy man. So what I have decided to do is to challenge myself to go low carb, to go keto this year. And basically the first two months I plan on just doing, you know, anywhere from 15 to 30 grams of carbs every day. And that is designed to get my body into ketosis, which should take anywhere from two to four days. I am predicting maybe around three days with my past history. I'm entering the year right at under 260. And my goal for the end of the year is gonna be 220. So I'm looking forward to it. I think I'll get there. I'll probably get there sooner than later, but I am basically looking at it as if on December 31st, 2023, I look back and I check my weight and my weight will be either 220 or less. You know, how often do we rush things? We say, oh, 365 days from now is too long. So then we don't do the things necessary in order to prepare ourselves for that and what ends up happening. Instead of 260, you're at 265 now because you couldn't break things down into smaller segments and you couldn't be patient. You wanted to rush things and then you try to rush it and things then work out the way that you wanted it to work out. Now you are heavier than you were when you started the year. So 220 is my goal. That's 40 pounds. I think that over 52 weeks, I can hit 40 pound weight loss. And my goal after that will be to sustain it. So how am I doing my plan? How am I going to accomplish what I want to accomplish? So my day one recap basically is that, you know, I bought myself a, I think you said Cuisinart coffee maker and I made my big pot of coffee and I put the butter in there, the MCT oil, the heavy whipping cream, and some stevia. I'm doing somewhat of a clean keto and not necessarily using those artificial sweeteners. So, you know, you make that big old pot in the morning and you have it. Now, typically on a regular day, a work day, I'm going to have that around 8 o'clock and sip on it till about 10 o'clock and then eat my first meal at around 12 o'clock. Today, I woke up a little later, it was a sleeping day. So I had my first meal a little later than 12 o'clock, but you know, I'm gonna have that bulletproof coffee and it's meant to 
help you go into ketosis and to curb those those cravings for carbs. So that'll be about eight to 10. Then 12 would be around the time I had my first meal. Then around three o'clock will be when I have a protein shake. Then around six o'clock will be when I have my second meal. So the first meal basically will consist of turkey bacon, turkey sausage crumbles, eggs, and cheese. And I already have six bowls laid out for the next six days. Eggs can, I believe, sit in the fridge for about three to four days. So I have three bowls that already have the eggs made. And I have three bowls that are just awaiting me to put the eggs in there. And that will basically be what I have all week for lunch. And then dinner will vary. My wife is going to be making a turkey. So I can eat off the turkey for dinner or buffalo wings with blue cheese, those kind of things. That's basically it. Keeping things simple, the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid. You know, just not having to really think too much about what I'm going to eat during the school day, during the work day. I think decision fatigue is one of those things that really gets people when they have to make too many decisions as far as what they're going to wear, what they're going to eat. Having the same thing prepared all week is definitely going to help with that. And an unintended benefit of having the same thing to eat all week for lunch is that you save anywhere from five to fifteen dollars a day and not eating out. You know, that's a way to be able to continue to reallocate that money towards, you know, savings or investments. So I'm definitely excited about it. My first day has been great. I've had more water than I've had in a while. I feel good. My stomach is not upset like it usually is when I eat so many carbs. So I'm feeling really good right now. And I had a minor headache earlier, but I'm, I'm straight now. I took two a leave, but my goal is that by the third or fourth day, I'm straight. Like I don't have to worry about taking anything and not getting any headaches or anything. But, you know, it's going to take a few days when you're addicted to something like I am. You have withdrawal sy symptoms and I definitely was having those earlier. But I will tell you this. The one thing that really has encouraged me is the fact that I have not been what they call hangry. I, I have not had mood swings. I have not been upset. I've not been frustrated. I've been pretty calm and pretty peaceful. Usually when I try to do no carbs, I'm very cranky and I have not been cranky at all today. And that makes me feel pretty good. It makes me confident because in the past, it's been the only thing that really has stopped me from continuing to do the zero to low carbs. So, hey, if you want to join, jump on the, the bandwagon. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. We all got to get healthier for the 2023. And there's just no better time to start than the first of the year. So I will go ahead and declare the first day of absolute success. I'm excited to continue this journey. And financial health, physical health, mental health, these things are all intertwined. I believe that focusing on my physical health in the long run will definitely definitely help our financial health and not only in the long run but in the short run as well because like I said I'm not you know going out to these fast food restaurants or chilies or those kind of restaurants and spending an exorbitant amount of money on food when I can spend the same amount of money that I'll spend on one meal there for an entire week's worth of meals by meal prepping so I'm excited Please drop any comments or support that you may have for me below. If you have not subscribed to the channel, if you just happen to come across this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like, share, all those good things. Hey, that algorithm kind of be popping sometime, right? Like sometimes I have those videos that might have 1,500 views. Then I might have some that might have 40 views. So it's kind of weird, you know? So I'm still working out this algorithm thing, but I think that the content that I put out will be beneficial to some people. So, hey, thanks for the support for those who have been along this journey for a while. 
I am monetized, but I really do this more so as a hobby and to help people. So I always appreciate the support that I do get from you guys. So, hey, I appreciate it. You all have a great, 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 great year. Thanks for the love. All right. Y'all take it easy.